Nobody knows what I was doing, so if what I do, I shouldn't have done. <laughs> well, he is. Okay, so, hi Portland. I'm a teacher. I've been teaching 16 years, and my name is Rosen Murdoch. I taught 11 years at Dr. King, and I am now at Beach School. I've taught second through fifth. Um, Teaching is one of the most rewarding jobs that I've ever done, yet the most difficult. It's, uh, it's, it goes back and forth. Um, sometimes there's days that I just, it's wonderful, the kids get it, a light comes on, even with one student, it's beautiful. But then there's those days, there's those days. I had one of those days today. So I'm talking really from my heart, where nothing, just can't, kids can't get things to flow. And this is what needs to be looked at and teachers need to talk about it because this is never talked about, the difficulty that we have in the classroom, the issues that happen in the classroom, everyday issues that happen that we have to deal with. We don't only deal with those, but we're supposed to be teaching. That's what is so challenging. So what do you do? And this is why we're asking for the wraparound services. This is something, and I've seen it work with <coughs> students, where students have gotten counseling, where that same student, and this happened just last year, that same student, the family joined in, the dad joined in, the boyfriend joined in, and they are doing so much better they were having outbursts in the classroom. There was no way that the student could learn or any of the students around. And so that's why we were asking for wraparound services, to be able to not only help us be able to teach other students, but this will also benefit the students themselves. And so one of the things that also needs to happen is that we need to have pre-K in all schools. Pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade. And when those students are having problems, or um, because I always hear, well, they'll grow out of it. No, I've seen it for 16 years that they do not grow out of it. Nine times out of 10, those same students that are having problems when they did in pre-K, first grade, kindergarten, they're still having those problems in middle school and high school. Why do we have a 62% turnout of students only graduating? Because we need to help those students when they're young. So like was said, when, I just had a brain fart. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's from working all day. So when we're asking you to please help us, and when it says that we still have continued work to do, we still do have continued work to do after we get a contract. Yep. And so we're asking that you please do this. And one of the things I keep hearing is that there's not enough money. Okay, so it was spoken of Von Decker. <laughs> she is in working on our contract right now. She's making $15,000 a month, a month, okay? She's not working for free right now, like you, doing extra work like this. Thank you, no, no, no she's not. She has, she does, okay. So, um, we need to look at this, we need to look at high school and help out high school. We need to, okay, I want these to stay up so we can see. <laughs> we need to keep track of this. As of June 23rd, 2013, you can Google these things. Google. They're on Google. <laughs> Hirsch and Associates, $140 an hour. Not to exceed this amount. And it's an auditing service. We have an auditing. We have an auditor at the district. Are you getting this, folks? <laughs> this has got to stop. Yep. 
The money is not going for our students in the classroom. The money is going other places. Oh, we haven't even done this one. I'm gonna have you hold it. <laughs> Miller Nash, $80,000 for an attorney. $800,000 for an attorney. $80,000 is just too, that's a lot for me. $800,000 for attorney. We have attorneys in the district, but yet they're paying. Let's say this together. $800,000. Yet, we can't get insurance. Yet, we can't get a raise. Yet, we work 10 days free. Yet, we, money was taken from high schools that was given, correct? Look at these folks. This has got to stop. I love this. It says, teachers, read this together, here we go. Teachers are more than any other class, the guardians of civilization. Amen. 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 Okay, please support us, and let's continue working together after the contract. And one last thing, <clears throat> the bond, the $438 million bond, we need to keep our eyes on where that money is going and what schools are just being worked on. Reason being, our school at Beach, there's a building, one of the buildings, it is kindergartners, okay? The water is the color of this chair when it comes out. I'm, I'm very serious. I'm mm -hmm. I am not exaggerating. They're kindergartens, it, no matter what age. That's the color of the water coming out. They were told to keep the water running so it would clear. <laughs> okay? First of all, it's a waste of water, correct? Okay. So also, <laughs> yeah, water, <laughs> money down the drain. Also, there's a, they did some work on the road um, and, and where the students were playing in the back of the school is a sinkhole, a sinkhole. Okay, so the emergency door to go out if there's an emergency in that building would go, the kids have to run out where it's now fenced because of the sinkhole. The roof leaks and the teachers were told that there were more important things to take care of, other schools to take care of besides that. Okay, so please become a part of this. We need you so much to stand up for our students and for us. Thank you. Thank you.